Good morning guys, welcome back. I'm just here with a video on these guys, which are your large tractors. These are just my top picks for tractors. Again, you don't have to get these tractors. You don't have to use these tractors. These are just the tractors I like to use. I think they're really good. Um, I think I've got 10 or 11 here to show off. Um, so yeah, we'll get right into it and we'll start with this guy over here which is the Challenger MT800E Field Python. It is made by Giant Software, so the actual makers of the game. It is a big tracked tractor. So it runs on these tracks instead of wheels. Really cool looking tractor. Big front weight on the front. And it's got a cool snake paint job on there really cool 646 horsepower tractor it is quite pricey um, which is all right it's not too bad if you got a big farm and you're making the money you know go right ahead something different on the farm I think it looks pretty schmick with that paint job but really good big three-point link on the back so it should tow pretty much anything around the farm so we'll just that's her uh, you got beacons on top. Lights are pretty good. You got side lights. I like that. And she'll turn on a dime, just like that. So yeah, really cool tractor that way. But I use it just for towing big machinery. Your buy menu under vehicles in large tractors. And it is right there. 427 for the base model. As we go up, you get the biggest motor, takes it up to over half a million dollars. Then you can have the wide tracks or the three meter tracks which are a bit thinner track but they're a bit wider apart probably good for your row crop sort of setup but that's it there quite a pricey tractor like I said but pretty up there in the horsepower um, if you got the money go ahead and buy it it's great for towing your big machinery and stuff like I said so yeah that's that one guys you'll also find that one if you want to get it it is a modded tractor it is in the mod hub and it is under large tractors and pretty much all these modded tractors are in the mod hub under large tractors that's where you'll find them and then in your buy menu they're under large tractors there as well my second pick is you've seen this one before i'm not going to go on about it too much but is this one it's the Challenger MT900 series by BM86 and SIID modding. Um, I have spoken about this before in the My Mods video I made where I go on about what mods I like to use on my farm. This is one featured, so I'll leave it at that one. Um, yeah, really nice tractor. So, yeah, if you want to grab it, go check it out. The next ones are these guys. These are the Case IH Magnums. They are both made by, if I can find it, they are both made by Carl Farms, is the modder who makes these, both of them. Um, they're basically the same tractor, only one has different wheel setups to the other. Um, this one here is the Case IH Magnum US series and on this one I've just gone with the wide quad, quad track wheel setup so you've got tracks all around but there are a ton of wheel options on this tractor um, I think there's like 56 all up different wheel configurations um, these are quite pricey for the type of tractor they are I think they're a bit dear I mean, that's just my opinion. They're over the $400,000 mark and you only get 435 horsepower 
out of them but still a good tractor good all-rounder because you can have the three link on the front like I have got the three link on the back so they'll build it and they also got a PTO drive on the front as you can see there in the yellow cup on the front every tractor has a PTO on the back um, there in that black cup there is the PTO drive so this one is also good if you want to run your twin butterfly mowers and stuff like that like I do with my baling this one will do it no problems at all so it sounds really nice like all the others you got your beacons lights no side lights on these ones but still good lights in the dark front they light up pretty well and that's a uh, not a bad turning circle on it with the tracks but yeah that's the Magnum US series um, next to it is the Case IH Magnum AFS Connect which is basically the same tractor I just think it's a newer model I think um, all the same basic things um, beacons, lights, three point link, only I've got the big flotation tyres on this with the weights on the back, another good tractor, if you want to go for that look, sounds exactly the same, not a bad turning circle, a bit bigger than the quad track version that I have set up on the other one, but very nice tractors in their own right. I use these guys a little bit on my other games I'm playing. Very nice multi-use tractor. Really cool. The next one is this guy, a John Deere. It's another tracked tractor. It's the John Deere 8RT series. And just like the others, it is a modded tractor. This one is very pricey compared to a lot of the others um, the cool thing I like about this is um, it's tracked so it turns really well all your three point on the back again beacons like the rest lights not too bad what's cool about this one where I think it makes up for in the price tag is it is a large tractor but it is the only large tractor you can buy that I've seen in the game that can take a front end loader and it will connect to all of the CSZ front loader attachments um, all the standard ones I've just gone for the John Deere front loader the H480 which is also a modded front loader attachment you'll find that in the mod hub under front loaders and it's the H481 now I've just got a standard John Deere bucket on the front but I think that is really cool for a large tractor and being a tracked tractor it turns really well as you can see so you know if you've got the money on your farm and that might be an option you want to do you know, go for it I think that is awesome the fact you can have a large tractor with half decent horsepower with a front end loader on it so that's why I go for that one when I use it I think that is just awesome for a large tractor it's pretty cool next one is the class tractors these guys are pretty up there in the price but I do like them, just the look of them, the colour scheme I think is pretty cool. But this one is just your class Axion 900 or at this stage I've got as a 960, it's the Terra Track. So it's not completely tracked but it's got steering tyres on the front, just your standard normal tyres and your big tracks on the back. Looks pretty smick. All the class tractors have great lights. This one sounds really nice too. Has a three point link and PTO front and back so you can run the mowers and everything. It's another good all round tractor. 
has 445 horsepower all up and yeah not a bad turning circle bit larger than some of the others but you know that's nothing too dramatic really good for small to medium sized farms a large tractor nice slim line so it goes down roads on most maps pretty good but that's another one I'd, I recommend for my farm I have used that quite a bit it's, it's an awesome little tractor well not little but it's large but yeah pretty cool tractor next to him is the big boy of the class lineup it is the class Zerion 5000 I've got it with the dual, dual wheel setup um, I do like the look of this tractor it's got a three point link on the front but I don't think it has a PTO on the front but don't quote me on that it's a three point on the back with a PTO there it is the silver shaft there so you can carry stuff on the front um, I don't think you can drive a mower or anything on the front of this one the cool thing I like about this one is it is a 530 horsepower tractor so it does pull a lot of gear but both the wheels turn so you can have set up where both the wheels turn so it does have a great turning circle for a large tractor this thing has great lights it just lights up everywhere which I like too so it's got back front rear sides beacons on top awesome tractor the other thing I like about it is in mod hub I haven't got them but I have seen them you can get three point link forklift arm attaches and just say you got that and you put it on the back here and you're driving along forwards down the road and then you want to turn around to see your forklift but you don't want to have the trouble trying to reverse the tractor and everything you can excuse me I'll just open my help menu here so you click L1 is it R1 no L1 R1 together yeah L1 R1 together you get a change driving direction option at the top of that menu you hit X and you can actually spin the cabin I think that is a really cool feature so if you've got the forklift attachment on the back you now potentially have a forklift tractor um, but your buttons do reverse so your forwards backwards still pretty cool open the menu you can flick that back around I like that feature I think that is really cool very unique tractor one of the only tractors in the game that do that um, whether you'd use it that often I don't know but the option is there to do that so there's that tractor guys I think that is pretty nifty trick it has and these next tractors are really cool I think they're the best um, bang for your buck tractor with horsepower and price and it is this one this is the Agco 1000 series which if you've been following my Hagenstead series I do have it on that farm only I have it in the Challenger yellow setup this one I have it in the Fent series setup excuse me I have all options on it that I can get so I've got the big dual wheels front and back have the well, what I call them the forestry bars it's protection on the front of the tractor they go up across the bonnet round the cab across the roof down the back so I guess you could call it a roll cage I think it would be like forestry protection all round the bar cage round the muffler so that's cool jump in it is a 517 horsepower tractor at its biggest engine setting but it's under four hundred thousand dollars it's only three hundred and eighty eight grand I think to have it as it's sitting and this tractor is made by 
Uh, let me see for a minute here. Sorry, guys. Just going down my list. It is made by RN RN Modding. Sorry, I think if I've said that right. Um, yeah, great tractor. Nice horsepower. Lights up really well. 360 degrees, pretty much. Good horsepower. It does travel at 63 kilometers an hour, so it's quite a quick tractor. Which is another reason why I like it. Also has a PTO shaft three-point link front and back, so this is another good one for running your mowers, your butterflies on the back and your single on the front, or if you get the Novacat, you can make that a triple mower set up on the front and put your tether or whatever on the back. Um, another good tractor, and it's not bad price for its horsepower. Um, just backtracking. Don't know if I mentioned it, but these class guys are made by Giant Software. The TerraTrack you'll find in the Mod Hub under Large Tractors. The Xerion actually comes in the Platinum Pack for the games. So you have to actually purchase that pack before you get this tractor. It's not in the Mod Hub. And the John Deere. 8RT series, I think I forgot to mention, is made by Custom Modding and Steam Camp Modding. So they're the guys that make this one. Um, forgot to mention that, but... Um, yeah, just thought I'd mention that then. Sorry about that, backtracking a bit. And the class Axion Terra Track 960-930, which is this little guy sitting next to the Xerion, is actually made by DD Mod Passion. So really cool tractor. There are two versions in the Mod Hub. Um, this one is the version that is by DD Mod Passion. The other version is by Giant Software, I think. But this one has just a few more options on it. That's the only difference, really. But both great tractors. Anyway, on to the rest of the tractors. And we have these guys by... Um, sorry again, just going down my list here. It, they are both by NEFG Modding. And the first one here is the STX Steiger do have the big flotation tires on it I love these tractors they're both articulating but the engine sounds and the turbo whistle on these are just fantastic and they are really good priced for the horsepower you get at their biggest setting they're 535 horsepower by memory and they are Less than $300,000 to buy. I'll just go in and check that, but really cool. Tractors. Great for towing your gear, plowing your fields, all that. They run all that. Just listen to that engine. That is really cool sound. I love the sound of that. The turbo whine and whistle. Just sounds like a big, beefy powerful motor it's awesome uh, you can open the cover on these which just puts out your flasher bars and you can fold them away um, really nice tractor so that's the case IH Steiger by STX Sorry, I stuffed that up completely. <laughs> it's the Case IH Steiger by NEFG Modding. And in the Mod Hub and under Large Tractors, it is known as the STX Steiger. Right, now that I've got that out, <laughs> there is this one. Also made by NEFG Modding. So it is basically that one, only it's the quad track version. And it sounds exactly the same, has all the same setups for the flashes and the light bars and the weights on the front and everything. It's just, it only comes in 
the quad track version so you can have slim tracks you can have the wide tracks which I've gone for on this again same engine sound Tractors are really cool, they're greatly priced. All these three here, they're all 500 horsepower tractors or above. Um, yeah, so just with the case ones, vehicles, large tractors, um, they are there the STX quad track STX Steiger so base model for the quad track 145 grand 95 grand for the quad track you know you go in here set it up the way you want so you can have the big weight on the front you got the U EU extremities you got the US ones three point hitch on the back biggest engine setting you got the big tracks you got the, the lifted row crops that's what you want to have you got the 36 inch belts for the tracks so they were wider again and have the gps on top just for looks it doesn't do anything on the playstation but it's there if you want it and yeah all up with that even with Sorry, the GPS on top, it's only a $261,500 tractor and you get 535 horsepower, so really, really cheap for the amount of horsepower you get. So that's why I recommend this one and this guy. This one's good, but it slows, seems to slow the menu down. I don't know why, but it does. But same configuration, just bear with me because it does take a while. So you've got the weight on the front, you've got Michelin, Midas, Lizard, back to Michelin again. And they all have different configurations for the wheel setups. Pretty sure the big wheels I have are under Midas, I'm pretty sure, they Midas. They might be Michelin. Uh. Oh, no, sorry. They're under Lizard brand, so you've got the 1400 LSWs under Lizard, sorry. Sorry it's taken so long, I don't know why it's this slow in the menu, the quad track isn't this slow, but... Yeah, and then same with the extremities. You can have your EU setting, which is for Europe, I'm guessing. And then you've got your US setup. It just gives you the safety bar and sign across the back. You got your hitch set up, so at the moment it's just a normal trailer hitch. And you can get your three point link on the back. I think there is hitch weights you can put in on the back, but I usually just get the three point. Then you get your engine settings. You get biggest engine, adds 150 grand. And that's the 50th anniversary setup, so you can get the gold bonnet. If you don't want that look, you can go back to just the red. But even that, 535 horsepower, biggest setting, $330,000. Pretty cheap tractors for the horsepower you get. I love them both. I think they're great. The next one I like to use for all my massive farms, especially pulling all the Borgolt pack gear because there are some massive cedars and that in there is this guy the classic Big Bud and it is in my thumbnail it is the Big Bud 747 it is in the mod hub and it is made by Giant Software 
It is based off a real life tractor that was built in the 1970s. It is one of the largest or if not the largest farming tractor in the world. I've gone for the jewels all round. You can put triples all round this or just single wheels. Um, it has a huge engine in it. Um, but it has 1100 horsepower and it's only four hundred thousand dollars to buy so if we go into vehicles into large tractors it is right there four hundred and five thousand dollars for base model it's 1100 horsepower you can't change that but that's the twin wheels standard wheels twins 417 triples 429,000 so pretty cheap for that much horsepower 1100 horsepower like there is nothing in this game that this thing will not tow or pull along you can daisy chain a heap of trailers behind it if that's what you want to do but yeah great tractor for power it does only travel at 30 kilometers an hour which isn't the fastest tractor in the world but I guess it doesn't have to be with all that horsepower when there's really nothing it can't drag around your farm. It's great for large farms. I had it on my Stone Valley map when I did Stone Valley. Any big open maps like that, it is an awesome tractor for. But just that price and for 1100 horsepower, I mean, you can't go wrong. And it just looks awesome doesn't come with a three-point link like the rest of the tractors it is just a tow hitch um, which is fine I find the lights on it aren't the best it does sound nice I love the twin chrome exhausts it is just a monster of a tractor said so there are your only lights not very good at lighting up but you know if you do all your ploughing stuff in the day, then lights aren't really that necessary. It is a great tractor. Articulates really well, responds really well. It's just an awesome beast of a tractor. As you can see, even all these are large tractors, but all of them sitting next to these are just, you know, they are pretty small compared to it so even the challenger is pretty small next to it but it's an awesome tractor you can buy i think under tools a three point link trailer i'll just check that it would be under is it miscellaneous yes there it is a trailed lifter so you can buy that which basically turns the trailer hitch on the back of the big bud into now three point links if you have any tools that only have three point link on the front you want the big bud to pull it you may need to pick this up just hooks on to a trailer hitch at the front there like so and turns it into a three point link on the back don't have to of course but that's just an option if you want to do that but yeah, anyway, that wraps it up for this video, guys. Just thought I'd show off some tractors that I like to use in my games. And again, I'm not telling you to get these tractors. I'm just showing them off so if you do want more options in your large tractors, and go ahead by all means, have a look at them. Um, I think they are great tractors. They are awesome tractors. Um, love the Big Bud. It's a beaut of a tractor. And... Till next time. Hang on, wait a minute. No, I need to start that again. <laughs> um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Turn on that notification bell so you don't miss an upload that I do. And now, like I was going to say before, until next time, I'll catch you later.